Hey, Kim, ask me what time it is. Garrett, what time is it? It's time to build a new giant pocket watch roll clock. <laughs> and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, I realized time stands still for no man. <laughs> and we're running out of time to build a clock, a giant pocket watch. <laughs> I saw this clock. I wanted to do a clock project. I saw it online. It was $150 and I was like, no way. We can definitely make that yeah. cheaper. Challenge accepted. And it was definitely the inspiration for this project. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be wall size, but it is gonna have that pocket, pocket watch, watch feel. feel. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> time to get going. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a backer, so we have this piece of MDF. It's a piece of scrap MDF that's 16 by 25. Now, you could use a project board here because you can buy them in 16 inch widths in various widths because you would just adjust your frame size to meet your project board. But we had this and we thought it would work fine as the backer for this clock. We needed a one by three by eight feet long. We needed some trim pieces that'll go around the outside, kind of make it look classy. And then for the top, we're gonna try to make it look like a pocket watch. We're gonna use a little piece of this palette. We also need some glue and some inch and a quarter nails. And then for the clock face, we will be stenciling that. So we're gonna use our smart vinyl here, our removable vinyl, and then we'll need to stain and paint the clock. So we'll be using Varathane's Briar Smoke, and then we'll use our Country Chic Paint in Vanilla Frosting. That's gonna go over and we're gonna distress it. So you definitely wanna use this chalk paint for distressing. Then I'm gonna add a finial on top to make give it that pocket watch pocket watch look. I'm either gonna use this finial, which is, that's what this is, a finial, or I'm gonna make my own, um, because we have an idea here, but we won't know how this plays out until we get to the end here. You gotta make it look like a pocket watch. How yeah. am I gonna, I gotta hook my chain on something. Yeah, well, I think it's gonna look cool. He's got a good idea. So we're gonna use this tiny little candlestick. We're gonna put this round ball on top of it, and then we're gonna take this little wooden ring and put that on top of the, the ball. So that's a little bit of work. We'll, we'll do that together when we get there. <laughs> and then of course, we need our clock pieces. I bought, well, this one, I got it with chimes. So mm -hmm. I thought we'll see if we hate this. It's like a grandfather it. pocket watch. <laughs> and then, well, if it's gonna hang on the wall. Yeah. And then I got these cool little clock hands. So I think that's it for my supply list. Yeah, that is it. Step two, Ooh. we're gonna stain and paint the backer. All right, we're gonna use this Varathane's Briar Smoke. Time to paint the backer. Now the stain is dry. We're just going to give it a coat of this vanilla frosting. Now this, so we're gonna use the same paint on both the backer and the frame. However, for the backer, I want it to be a little more white or solid paint color where the frame is gonna be more of a dry brush technique. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Step three. We're gonna apply the clock face. We're gonna use some vinyl, cut it out on the Cricut, lay it down, and paint the, paint the little numbers on there. Let's do it. Our image was too wide for one cut, so we had to slice it, and once it was cut, we had to splice it back together using the transfer tape. We did, it. we did a pretty good job. Everything lined up really well. Moment of truth here. Oh, wait. There. Let's find the middle of the board. Right, that's right. Yeah, let's find the middle and go from there. I'll make a little mark at eight over here. All right. That is a tiny mark. Are you going to see that? Are you going to see that? A little mark up here. There, center. So we're gonna use this cute little two inch roller and we're gonna roll our black paint on here. Now, here's what I already know. <laughs> I already know that this vinyl, which is removable vinyl, not permanent, 
is already pulling up the paint. And I mean like pulling up the paint a lot. It's already distressed. It is gonna be super distressed and we're done, but I think it's gonna be cool. So I'm not too worried about it. But when you see this stencil come off and you see a mess, we already know that. It's okay. So it's okay. do as I say, not as I do. If you do not want it to pull the paint up like it's about to happen to us, you would put a coat of polycrylic down first and then paint your numbers on. I didn't do that because I wanted to be able to distress both layers. And I felt like if I put the polycrylic on there, I wouldn't be able to distress it at all. So I, I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, we'll see, I don't know. let's see, let's see. I mean, if we have to, we do it again. Yeah, it's a little bit of paint. Now you want this roller nice and dry. You do not want to roll it right through this paint. You're not painting a wall. We're just doing a little bit here. Yeah, we're gonna use the heat gun. See if that might help get the stencil off. What do you think? I think that was way too much paint. But let's sand the black and see. <laughs> so that that didn't turn out. Well, it's something. It's yeah. Something. It's just not what I had envisioned. And I was okay changing it. I don't know, I mean, maybe if you just put a dark stained frame, which is different than what I had envisioned originally. Yeah, but you'll never be able to tell if it's nine o'clock. Well, should I fix the nine? I mean, I could fill it in a little with a paintbrush. Or just do the whole thing over again. Tomorrow. <laughs> this is where we left it last night. Here's where we are this morning. Stained and painted. We're gonna try again. I debated, I debated it just leaving it, but it wasn't my original design. So I have stained, painted, and now I'm gonna do what I told you to do. Put a coat of this clear coat on. I've already distressed the bottom layer. I'm gonna add the chalk paint on top once this polycrylic dries and distress that. This time we left it on the Cricut mat to help line it up and we're gonna use the transfer vinyl to uh, kind of splice it. This time we had to use stencil vinyl because I don't have any more removable smart vinyl and it's Aura Mask 813. So this is stencil vinyl. We've made two changes this time, so it's, so it's gotta work this time. Added some clear coat and went with stencil vinyl. Okay. All right, that looks a whole lot hotter than uh, this side. Well, no, I mean, it's just a different look. Four. That looks good. After. No, I don't know. That one looks like somebody threw it in the driveway. <laughs> Step four. Now we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take the one by three and we're gonna get it down to 16 inches and about 26 and a half inches. And then we're gonna take this trim and we're gonna give it some miters just to kinda make that box pop. And we're gonna make all these cuts with your friend my friend, friend of the show, <laughs> Pocket Saw. <laughs> Step five. Now we're gonna glue it and nail it together. We're just gonna put our box frame pieces together first, and then we'll kind of piece together the uh, trim pieces. All right, we're just gonna add some glue on each end. Then we're just gonna hit it with an inch and a quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Now it's time to piece together our little trim pieces. This is my, uh, this is my worst part. All right, now I'm just gonna tack this with a quarter inch brad. 
The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Right, that is it. Frame is all together. Already looking classy. <laughs> I like this little lip on the inside. I feel famous. <laughs> Step six. Now it's time to stain and paint the frame. Mostly stain. We're still using that briar smoke. I'm using the same stain that I started with. <laughs> Time for a little dry brush. We're just gonna use the vanilla frosting, wipe it off of the brush. Very dry brush going over top, right? That's right. I right. wanna show a lot of the stain since this has a lot of the white. That yeah. was the original design. Give it a little bit of contrast. Oh, it looks pretty good. Cool, yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted. Looks good. That's what I envisioned. <laughs> Step seven. Now we're gonna add the clock face and the clock pieces. Kind of like the mouse that saved Christmas. We're gonna insert the clock face, then we're gonna add the clock pieces. Maybe I should probably drill the hole first. Yes. All right, we had a little piece of one by three left. We're gonna trim off little one inch pieces to use as braces in the corner. Put a little glue on the bottom, so when we flip it back over, it'll glue itself to it. In. Sure thing. Step eight, and now we have the accents. This is where we take all these little wooden pieces and try to make like the top piece that looks like a stopwatch piece. Yeah. We're gonna use this uh, piece of pallet. We're gonna cut it down to six inches and then just glue all these pieces together. Maybe cut a hole in the ring so it'll fit around there. This is two inches tall. All right, now we just gotta paint it. It looks, it looks awesome. It's, you, you did such a great job. We're gonna use that iron paint and I'm gonna rust it. Make it look like a real rusty pocket watch. I'm gonna add the primer. Step two is to add the oxidizing iron paint. Real is, flecks of iron. This in is it. what's gonna make it look real. Now we're just gonna hit it with a little splash of the activator. It's the rust activator. This is what's gonna make it look old. All right, five minutes already getting a little rusty. We're gonna hit it again. All right, now we're attaching the little windy piece. A little bit of wood glue and another brad or two or three. Four maybe, we'll see. We try to come in from the bottom and the top. This thing going nowhere. All right, look at that. It's looking good. Yeah. What time is it? It's time for the project to be over. It's all done. What do you guys think? Looking great, right? Yeah. This is exactly what I had in mind when I saw the inspiration photo. This is it. This is it. This is, I'm glad we redid it. 
I know that that was a hard pill to swallow. We learned our own lesson that we've already shared a million times, but it's, this is exactly what I had seen as our inspiration photo. The one we saw online was $150, and this one was less than 40. And look at it, oh, it looks 40. great. That's like a fraction of the cost. Fraction of the cost. <laughs> and, and how great is it already that we found another use for this iron paint, this oxidizing paint, look I was at just, that. I was just eyeing up that rust. I was like, man, that thing up top looks real and real cool. I am, I am so impressed, I mean, this was just a, Garrett says, go see if you can find something for the top. Yeah. And it came back with that little candlestick, that ball, and the wood ring. Well, we went back for the wood ring Looks if you saw Looks great. It. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that came out, woohoo. The back side still has the old clock upside down. All right, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And this was a good make too. You gotta make it official. This is the official balance. <laughs> the official this is what balance. closes out a project. Right? Uh, yeah. It's like a stamp of so, approval. Okay. And approved. <laughs>